Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan, and uh, this is another Xcode tutorial. I, uh, I've been recently asked to uh, do more of my beginner series. This is kind of intermediate and beginner at the same time. So uh, yeah, we're going to be making a simple database and saving. So I really like databases. I've never worked with MySQL databases or Dolphin or any of that shit, but I really like databases. So we're going to be making a simple iPhone app showing how to make a basic database. So we're going to create a new Xcode project. And we're just going to make it a single view application. Let's call it database. And uh, I already went over what the class prefix and device families mean and identifiers. So we're going to go right through this. And uh, just save this to your desktop. Like QuickTime. I have to use QuickTime so if the player is uh, not as good quality or anything, then it's because my screen flow is being a dick. <laughs> Alright, so uh, once this stops, a little loader of death. Oh, my bad. So we're going to go right into our viewcontroller.h. One second, guys. Okay. Alright, don't worry about that. So we're going to be making some outlets. We're going to need, first things first, our outlets. We're going to need an IV outlet for three text fields. UI text. Field start. It's called field one. Another IB outlet. UI text field and uh, call this one field two. And uh, another IB outlet for another text field. So we'll call it field three. And then we're gonna need a label. Okay, we're just gonna call it loaded. When the data is loaded or saved, the label is gonna be displaying that. Then we're gonna need uh, five IB actions. And we're going to comment these database actions. And we're going to make an IV action for save ID as a sender. Another IV action for load an ID sender. And we're going to need to comment something else. We're going to put keyboard dismiss is make IV actions. So we're going to need one for dismiss one and copy this because it's the same exact thing and three so dismiss three two and one and this is just build that it'll work okay so then we're gonna go into the M and we're gonna first start off with the uh, save action the database I'll just copy both of these so let's see. Incorrect implementation. I forgot it does that. Okay, so we're gonna start for the save. So in the save, we're gonna type in ns string. So we're working with strings. Star save string. We're gonna be making other save strings, but just for just this one. Field one dot text is our string. A semicolon. And then we're gonna do ns user default, which is like the main uh, type of using the database with an Xcode. Default equals bracket ns user defaults standard user defaults bracket semicolon. And then we're gonna do defaults set object, and then we're gonna call the object save string for key. And we're gonna come up with a save string king, so a save string key, which we call it save string bracket semicolon. And then we're going to synchronize. So, defaults, synchronize. Synchronize it all. And then we're going to comment these because it's just going to be three of them in it. Uh, it's really useful, actually. So, we're going to call this one first save string. And we can copy this because we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, oops, a lot of duplicates. And this is going to be our second save string and our third save string. And we're going to change all these to three. This is going to be two. And this is going to be two, three. Pretty much just change it so like this is two. Everything in here is usually is two. So actually we'll just do it like this. We'll just call this one, one, two, two, two. 
then uh, make sure everything is at like that. One, 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 one. I might have errors or no? Let's build and see. Okay, that succeeded. Unused variable, save string two. So you have to make sure that this is set to two. And then we can build it. Won't have that error anymore. Don't worry about the incorrect implementation. Okay, so these are all of our save strings. Now we're gonna work with the load. Where we're gonna we saved all the data, and now we're gonna load it. Oh yeah, one more thing. We want to do loaded. Dot text equals at quotes. Uh, let's see, data saved successfully. Semicolon. So we just did was made the label so it displays when we know if it loaded or not. So now we're gonna be doing for the load method. Um, it's pretty much the same thing except it's kind of different. So let's start out with ns user default star default equals oops, ns user defaults standard user defaults semicolon and then we're gonna do ns string and we're gonna call it string star load string equals defaults object for key and we'll call this Oh yeah, that's right. We have to name this what lo what we're loading from. So we're going to be reloading re re this one from save string because it matches up with this and it also matches up with this. So we're going to be loading from the first. So I'm going to comment this really quick. We call this first load string. So this is going to be save string, semicolon. And then under that, we're going to do field one, set text. I'm going to call this load string because it's loading the text from the string. And then it's going to be loaded. So this is our label, knowing that it's loaded. And we're going to say at quotes data loaded successfully. Okay. And then we're going to copy this because we're going to be doing the pretty much same thing. You probably don't have to keep the uh, loaded set text to every single time, but doesn't really matter, just do it anyway. So then we're going to be changing these data values to 2 and 3. So we're going to call this defaults 1, load string 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1. I'm just going to make them, I'm just going to see what else. Oops, not want to do that. Load string in the defaults. This would be defaults one. This should be load string one. Okay, defaults two. So you have to make sure your defaults two two. And then we should have nothing wrong with that. Okay, and now we have the keyboard dismisses aren't really that hard. You just got to uh, do this. Do um. IB action, dismiss one. Right, we already built, we're going to be able to copy it, so it won't be hard at all. And we're just going to do a sender, resign first responder, and that's it. And we're just going to save it to a did end on a, did on did end on exit. So then change uh, this to three, and this to two. Build it, and there should be nothing wrong with it. So then we're going to go set up our view. It is really not that hard. Not very a lot of elements you need to worry about here. So we're just going to drag in. What do, we, what do we do? Free text boxes. Okay. Oh yeah, first we're going to need a navigation bar. So let me find that. Can't ever find this. Sorry if it's a little bit laggy. It's because the screen recorder. Is... Oh my god. So just set this to nothing because we're going to be putting a label there. Try to get this up here as much as we can. Copy it, paste another one. Move this up a little bit. Okay, that looks about even. So we're going we're gonna to put a... Which one is it? 
God, so I placeholder. We're gonna type in name. This one's gonna be city. And this next one's gonna be phone number. Okay, and then we're gonna need some round rec buttons. We're only gonna need two. Copy it, get another one. We're gonna put save data. And there's two ways you can do this. Um, here, just put load data. There's two ways you can do this. You can either have the data be loading when you click the button, or you can load it as soon as the view loads. But for this tutorial cause, I will be loading it with the button because view did load doesn't make it fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a label, put it in navigation bar, drag it across, center it, because my OCD will drive you crazy if it's not perfect. So we can probably can actually put a shadow. So shadow is going to be white. Let's see. That should be good. All right, we'll make the text a little bit bigger. I'm going to reverse these, make the shadow black, and I'll make the text white. Uh, that's better. I wish you would set this to nothing right now. Okay, so then go to your first files owner, my bad. And go to your connections. Field 1 to field 1. Field 2 to field 2. Field 3 to field 3. Loaded to the label. Uh, dismiss 1 to the keyboard. Did end on exit. Dismiss 2. Did end on exit. And dismiss three. Did that on exit. And then load to load data. Touch up inside. Save to save. Oops. Save to save. Touch up inside. And for the keyboard preference for phone number, we're gonna be uh, putting this keyboard. We're gonna put it on a number pad. And select all these. And then we're gonna do a uh, return key. Is always gonna be done. So it'll hide the keyboard on the done key. Okay, so we can go ahead and build and run. And we should have nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> and my voice sounds really weird because I just got up like an hour ago. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to load the simulator. And you could do a lot of. You could actually implement this to your own apps. Make like the tab bar with the with the databases. It's it's really it's it's pretty cool. You could do this with images too. Except I'm not really sure I'll be doing a tutorial on that yet. It's kind of a little bit more difficult. But okay. So in this case, I'm just gonna use the text field to type in my name. Where I live. My phone number. I'm gonna put a fake phone number. Our data was saved successfully, so we can re-exit the app. Oops. We can completely close it out. I won't do that right now, a little bit laggy. And then once it, the app actually completely, you can close it. Like, it would be a year later, it doesn't matter. As soon as you save your data, oh, and I got SIG kill for some reason. It's okay, I'll just rerun it. Sorry, guys. Okay, then load our data, and it will load exactly what was in there. It doesn't matter if it's three years ago you had this app. I don't think it will still be there, but <laughs> but if you still have it, then great for you. It will always load your data no matter what you do. It will load your data. No matter if you, if you change it, it will. If you save, whatever you save is what it loads. So if I get rid of all this, I'll still load it. It'll load back. So that's all, guys. Thank you for watching.